Dawn here. Okay, back with another live stream today. Uh, just looking at my stream. <clears throat> um, I'm going to try to um, get, I'm going to get back to work here on the Lenovo i5, which is what I'm streaming from right now. Um, and uh, get, well, I'm going to triple check my backups and, uh, and then uh, hopefully we'll reformat it today. I, uh, <coughs> let's check the audio too. I, um, yesterday I, uh, well, I had the, uh, had the Lenovo F5 running, my IBM, that's my server, the, the Dell 6000 laptop, and then I had the AS Rock running all at the same time. <coughs> and, uh, it got, Oh, 70, I think, I think it, it just stayed. It, I hadn't, didn't notice it till I started getting hot. And well, I started coughing a whole lot and then I realized, man, I'm really hot. I can't, I'm not getting, you know, it's getting too, uh, too, I'm feeling too hot. And it, it, the thing is, is, you know, 78's not super hot, but I guess when the uh, computers are pumping all that heat into the room, it, uh, I, I don't know if it can actually, you know, use up the oxygen, but, um, uh, that's what it felt like, and uh, and so it made my uh, my. I, I'm always fighting allergies every day. If you ever watch any of my videos, you see me coughing and hacking, and probably sick of it. And so am I. <clears throat> and um, so anyway, um, I just got in such bad shape I couldn't even talk anymore. And uh, yeah, about well, it took a couple hours after I shut everything down, except for just the ser uh, the servers always running, and then the, I left the, the you know the i5 the Lenovo running. And just sit here and watch a couple of videos and stuff and ate supper and all that. And so by the time I watched a couple of videos and ate supper, you know, it well, it took it a couple hours to cool down, you know, to like 77. But I started feeling better just like 30 minutes after I turned every, all the extra stuff off. So I, I still may want to use that AS Rock to do some, do some of the, you know, to, I may do what I was doing yesterday and like, have one running and the other one the backup stream and then whenever I shut this one down the other one comes on it was really works good you know to keep uh, because look when you want to <clears throat> well in the place here where I'm gonna be rebooting this and and uh, and reformatting it you know obviously you can't run any programs on a machine while you're reformatting it you know well yeah you can in the live Fedora system but anyway it just gets complicated i'll just take it as i go and uh <clears throat> my brain gets gets over overwhelmed easily lately so uh <clears throat> take it as i go I, tr uh, I, I tried to plan it step by step if i try to plan it out step by step ahead of time i just get in more trouble so if i write it down uh, i write it down you know what i write down doesn't actually work out in reality you know so um so let me go back and the first thing i want to do for sure i'm just to go to the desktop and uh and see like these video that i'm making right here right now well i'm gonna have to back it just like yesterday i'm gonna have to back it up unless i, or I won't have my won't have my backup video anymore you know <clears throat> I don't, and i can't back it up while i'm recording it so i'm at the same kind of the same spot i was yesterday but i did do a bunch of manual backing up i tried to be careful the only thing i actually did yesterday was well the two things i did was um I made some bookmarks of the videos I was watching today. I actually watched a few videos just uh, that I've just made after I and I went ahead and back, backed up on my bookmarks uh, today, and then I watched a few more videos and I'm like, okay, I'm not even going to bookmark those. I just leave them in my. I, I put videos in my watch later list on YouTube, and then I watch them later. And so instead of uh, you know adding to my bookmarks uh, on my F Firefox, I didn't. I just I, by the I'll see them in the, when I see them again. I should be able to say, okay, I've seen that one, and I, I want to bookmark it. Hopefully, I'll remember all that. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> um, I want to let's see. I think the best thing to do. Well, no, that's not going to really. I was thinking that really the simplest thing to do, and I went through it, and I and I, I really do feel confident that my Lucky Backup profiles will get everything I need. So running Lucky Backup, that's the, the best way to do that, you know, get everything backed up for sure. And it's already ran probably twice today because I reboot. Every time I reboot it, after like it's been running for about 10 minutes or so, it runs. 
Um, of course, if I, I can turn it on manually anytime I want, and if I do, but if I do that right now while I'm making this video, then um, then it won't get this. You know, this video won't even be finished yet. So let's see. How am I going to do it? <coughs> um, I can turn on the S Rock again, like I did yesterday. Set it as a backup stream, and then stop this one, and it'll take over. That's fine. <coughs> okay. Do the lucky backup. I was kind of thinking I didn't want to do that again, but now I'm realizing, well, what else are you going to, am I going, are you going to do, you know, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> um, let's see. I want to show as much of the process as I can, because there's always those things that you, I take for granted because I've done it for years. That might be the the thing that somebody just doesn't know how to do, you know, <clears throat> or doesn't get that step. Like if you leave out a, a step, it may be something important to somebody. So that's why I'm trying to, one way or the other, either de remote desktop or with a camera on the screen, at least get get you know <clears throat> show and tell, <clears throat> show as much as I can and tell what's going on in the process of doing this. So um, that's why I'm going into great pains to try to get it all. Um, so anyway, yeah, see, those are the things that you might get. Well, of course, if you're not making a video, then you wouldn't be hung up right here. But So my backup, let's see. I can go over here. Let's look over here. I want to see how much is being used by everything. Okay, it's okay. Not great, but okay. <clears throat> um, yeah. Some of my documents, for instance. Yeah, bookmarks. That's the last thing I did. Back to, I also remembered my Firefox developer bookmarks. There's not very many, but you know, I, I like to have. I like to back up everything like that because uh, a lot of times it's stuff that. Well, I, I don't even remember I found it until I see that bookmark again or something. Or and what I do when I, you know, I think, okay, I've got something I want to. Uh, you know, what was that page or a subject that I just a subject that I'm want to go back to or. or or maybe, you know, I remember I've done it before, but I don't know where I found it, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> I can search in my bookmarks and usually find. I'll do that a lot of times because <clears throat> if you start from scratch with a Google search, then you end up going back through the same amount of time doing all that again, you know. <clears throat> sometimes that's 10 minutes. Sometimes that's <laughs> all day, you know. It just depends. Um uh, so um, that's why I just go to Great Paints to save all my bookmarks. Oh, uh, let's see. <clears throat> so yeah, those will get backed up. Everything, yeah, everything will get backed up by a lucky backup. So I can't think of a <clears throat> better way than to just because I'm ready. I made my Fedora 28 USB boot, uh, <clears throat> you know, stick. I put Fedora 28 on a USB drive uh, a couple of weeks, two or three weeks ago now. Um, <clears throat> and I used my server to do that because it hasn't had any, it's clean. It doesn't have any problems with this malware trying to get in it. And because uh, I didn't have that, uh, I didn't have anything but just one add on in it. <clears throat> and I didn't have sync turned on in it either. So I used it and I did make a video of that. I had to do it with the camera on the screen, but at least, you know, I was telling what was going on and everything. So <clears throat> now, I guess I am just like ready to um, I'll go to the camera and <clears throat> get my get my long my long, my remote my, my long remote. I've got a short one for when I'm don't have, when I'm using the mic. Uh, you know, got to stay by it. So anyway, I'll get over here. I really was kind of thinking, oh, do I really need to turn on the AS Rock because it got so hot yesterday? If it starts getting hot today, I ain't going to leave it on. I'll boot it up. <clears throat> I just, I don't think the air conditioner was running as much yesterday because it was 84 uh, and it's been closer to 100 and it makes the air conditioner run a lot and it makes me a lot more comfortable in here, oddly enough. I mean, up to that point, now if you start later on in the summer, if it gets as hot as it has, well, always has, really all my life, it, we have summers where day, plenty of days that every day is 103, 105, you know, and some years 110, you know. Now, that's a different thing. But anywhere between, oh, I guess, 
what did I saw the temperature a while ago. It was uh eighty three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eighty eight. I remember it was four degrees more than yesterday. It's eighty eight and the air conditioner's been running a lot today. I'll just do that so you can see <coughs> the boot up uh screen. And it's um it's nice and cool. But I haven't run, you know, a bunch of extra machines today either. So we'll see how long I can do it. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just going to boot this up. I'll turn on OBS Studio and uh, set it up to be my backup uh, stream like I did yesterday. <clears throat> and then I can shut down this stream and do like I did yesterday. I'll use a remote desktop so it'll be a decent video <clears throat> instead of just having to use the camera. Of course, I have, right now that's the only way I can. The only way you can show a machine booting up is with the camera, you know. So I have to do that. And why is my screen? Okay, there we go. It went black for a minute before it went to uh, the logon screen. There we go. Yeah, I kind of get this plan down, and and then whenever I do um, do the S Rock. <coughs> redo you know it's got <clears throat> reformated it from fedora 27 to 28 then uh, i'll kind of have a plan down for it uh maybe okay so i like to know what's going on with the system and <clears throat> let's see okay let me do that 75 updates available Every day, every day uh, that you boot this thing up, there's updates for Door 27, which it being over, you know, a new new version out, you would think there wouldn't be so many, but there is. Uh, <clears throat> I was thinking I could start up KRFB and go ahead and just, you know, I'll just go back and forth with my remote desktop. Okay, now, now, <coughs> okay, <coughs> notes to self, I'm trying to remember the IP address, okay, so now, I'll go back to my machine, <coughs> and get on the desktop, and now I'll open up the uh, yeah, Tiger VNC is the one that I oh, want. It already has the IP from the AS Rock in it. There we go. Now, let's see, F8. I'm actually starting to learn that. Oh, yeah, that brings up the menu. In the other viewer, F, I just, if, I, if I remember right, F11 will just bring it up and bring it down. That's what has been confusing me because it's that other viewer that you can use F11 to bring it up and bring it down. So here's the... Uh, S Rock <coughs> system. <coughs> I went ahead. That's what I had opened up the system uh, monitor, so that I can keep keep an eye on it quickly and easily. Now with it, I'm always doing this usually in camera mode, so you can see what I'm doing. Open up OBS. I've got them set, set up quite similar now. You know, <coughs> uh, just from well, I just like things. You know, pretty. I like, it's easy for me to work if the the icons are the same and everything. So, um, what will I be wanting? <clears throat> I think I'll be wanting the start with I want the desktop screencast. Okay, so in this one, it's going to be my backup stream. And, uh, and it's going to stay, oops, not edit. Go to profiles. I'm, I'm really starting to catch on to this now. I wonder if you can rename those. Whoops, what did I do? Okay, somehow you ought to be able to rename those profiles. Re, there's a rename button right there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me again. <coughs> yeah, okay, I think that's how I would rename it. Uh, and I may do that. First, let's look and see. Before I do anything else on it, let's look at the settings. This one should be the one I used yesterday. I'm not going to go through them all, but... Uh, I think okay backup yeah see I set it as the backup stream okay 
Um, so this is the one I want to use right now, and I'm going to rename it to tell me that that's what it is, because I think I can do that. Figured that. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. I don't want to put I don't, something, you know, I mean, maybe I can put apostrophe S, and maybe I can't. So I'll just say Dawn. I'm going to say AS Rock. Now, AS Rock. That way, when I export them, <clears throat> or maybe I should say Dawn Backup Stream AS Rock. I want to make sure that I see. <laughs> Oops. I want to make sure that I see that it's a backup stream. That would could cause me some real problems if I don't notice it's a backup stream. Okay, now this other one. Yeah, okay. And now if I click on that one, that's the one I would be using. And uh, I put in there OBS Studio Profile Settings. Oh, yeah. Doesn't really need to be named <coughs> like that. That was, I, I, I did it because I was going to, you know, um, export it. You know, I exported it, and then I knew I was going to import it to another um, system, so I didn't want to get uh, mixed up as to, you know, what, what the heck was that, you know. Maybe I'll go ahead and put OBS or something in there, just because I think that is a good idea. This one, primary, okay, that's what I want to name it, primary, okay. And this one's been working, so I'm not going to go through all that. I just want to rename it. I hadn't caught on. I hadn't tried. You know, I just just was using it. I wasn't really. You know what? I want to remove it. Thank you for asking. I messed up. What did I say? Remove. It's right there. <laughs> rename and remove next to each other. I mean, it's good that that you can do that, but I think I might want to. <clears throat> I want to say primary. Primary profile Dawn primary profile I think I'll say OBS I'm trying to keep it long you know long enough for me to know what it is but not AS Rock. Okay, Dawn primary profile. I do. Uh, there's a difference between profiles and stream. So, okay, now I'm gonna go back and change the other one to similar thing. You have to kind of wait a little bit there. If this thing still kind of floats, and that's not. That's not. I don't know why. I don't remember it doing that until last few days actually I don't know maybe it's I'm wondering if there's something a little at first I worried when I first saw it I thought uh oh maybe there's some malware still in it or something but <clears throat> I'm fixing to reformat it anyway so but I think it could be all these updates because I've been installing them it could be these, there's been two or three kernel updates and that's not usual to have kernel updates all the time so they must be working on the kernel and I, it may be not working wonderfully with this 8300A core is what I'm thinking Okay, Don Backup Profile. Oh, I didn't even call it AS Rock. How come? But Backup, Don Back, not Remove, boy. Don Backup Profile uh, OBS AS Rock. That's what I want to name it. Okay, Don Backup Profile. I must have done it completely wrong from what I was thinking of saying even. Backup. Why wouldn't I say backup OBS profile? That would make much more sense. I'm really confused. Dawn backup OBS profile. Well, it should. 
Yeah, back upstream. Okay. Yeah, I want to know that this that means it's a backup stream. I don't want to have any. I'm gonna, you know, if I, as you can tell, my mind uh, doesn't work so wonderfully all the time. Dawn backup stream, OBS profile AS raw. There we go. Now that's what would really make sense. I should have copied that because all only thing that's different is the. In fact, I think I will. Say so rename again, and I'll just copy that. Can you copy it? We'll try Control C. Oh, there. It just was delayed. It's really moving slow. Now this one, of course, I want to ch don't want to change the. Uh, get on the primary. That's why I'm going. I'm going extra slow to wait on it to respond. That's just really bad and really weird. It just, I mean, this eight eight core with eight gig RAM. It shouldn't be nothing slow about anything makes me I sure hope it's better whenever I uh, you know, see when I'm paging through there oh wait I'm on remote desktop <laughs> that's what it is of course that's why it's doing it so much I, I mean it no I thought it seemed a little floaty sometimes when I was on the machine okay gone dawn primary stream OBS profile yes right well it look I mean it, it looks perfect you know it's full screen I forget and it's it, sad thing is is for years I've used remote desktop and it always uh, I think I used the Vino server this this um, the only, like I said I'm just gonna have to learn how to set that up even though it's a pain in the butt but KRFB is using Tiger VNC server and it's just not near as fast and as good as the Vino server was that's what I got to do. I'm going to learn how to set that up. And you know, I'll have to probably go ahead and editing config files and running, finding the commands to run to set things up. But be better than this. <clears throat> That's why I started using Team Viewer, but Team Viewer's so proprietary. I mean, they told me they thought I was using it for commercial purposes and wouldn't let me use it one day a few week last week or so ago. Just crazy, ridiculous stuff. So, um, I think I figured out it was because I, 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 uh, I didn't realize that when I was using Bitdefender Rescue System that it was actually downloading it and running it live, you know, running it standalone or portable, basically in portable mode. I, I didn't know it was doing that, so I guess it's was, and, I, and I don't like that they're tracking you that much either. But so they saw it. I did it three times in a row because um, I don't remember why uh, something happened, something was going on. I think I thought it wasn't working, and it was just. Yeah, it was taking too long, and I thought it wasn't working. I didn't realize it was downloading it. To, I thought it was just not starting, so I, kept, I clicked on it three times. That's what happened. So, um, and then it was later on. I went to uh, well, I went to install it, uh, the newer version on my machine, and that's when it told me, "Hey, we think you're using it for work." <laughs> that's what it said. Okay, the backup stream now. In this case, I want this now. See now, whenever I want to switch, my here's the reason I'm going to all this trouble. Um, when I'm on either one of these machines, and if I shut one down and it comes, turns on the, you know, the other one is running the backup stream and it takes set one over. Well, then I, if I want to go back to the other machine, I can just set it which way I need it. Like, you know, uh, well, for instance, if here's what I'm thinking, I haven't done it yet, but what I'm thinking is, okay, here I'm on a primary stream, and, and I get the other one. Well, I'm setting this up as a backup stream. Then I turn off the primary stream. This one comes up as the main as the primary stream is what happens is what I it takes over I know that I've done it three two times now so then what if I want to do it again well I tried it and it didn't work I just started my my other machine up again as a whatever machine it was up again as a primary stream and it just sat there saying it was streaming but uh you know it didn't whenever I stopped this 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 stream the, the one that was the originally the backup it just stopped you know so I think that um uh, if I would have started it, uh, the the third stream as a backup stream, okay, primary backup, and then don't start the next one as a primary, start it as a backup, and then I think when you shut down stream number two, then number three will take over, and you'll never you'll have a seamless experience for the stream. I think that's will do it. <clears throat> so that's my plan. I'm just gonna try to stick to it. Okay. Um, so all I need to do now. I've 
going to want desktop. Okay. And I'm going to need, oh, the audio's already on because I never did uh, uh, mute it. So I can see the audio signal down here at the bottom uh, from my wireless mic. So that's what I'll be doing. That's my plan there for that. And uh, the, the uh, you know, mic aux, which is the SM58, which is what you're hearing right now because my stream is coming through the Lenovo i5. It, uh, <clears throat> it's not even plugged in here, so, you know, I can't, can't do that. It would be possible for me to run. I have another output. Well, there's, you can actually kind of, there's two other ways to get an output from my mixer. Um, <clears throat> let me go ahead and get out of here for now. Oh, I'm going to get off of this uh, screen because um, all it causes that video feedback, and that will use up resources if you let that keep on doing that. But I th if I get off of that screen, then the video feedback stops. So I think I'll just get on that one there. <coughs> and um, then F8, get out of the full screen. Now, I need to reverse my connection. Uh, do I want to do? No, I'm not going to try to do those updates right now. I kind of want to because I think it might make it run better. But uh, that would be a pretty big sidetrack from trying to get this work done. Why am I seeing? It looks like I have. Oh, okay. That's the application this is the uh this, the uh yeah <gasps> let me see if i get out of there i think i'll be less confused yeah there we go now if i just click that okay i still think i'll leave that like that okay so i, I wanted to not use up too many you know network resources so i want to close that window okay now I don't want to, I'm actually fixing to, yeah, I'm going to be ready to do that here in a minute. Uh, I'll be stopping this stream, and then I'll get on remote desktop on the AS Rock. Well, first I'll get on remote desktop on the AS Rock, and then I'll stop this stream and start my lucky backup. Oh, and I was in the middle of saying my, uh, I thought, well, I was thinking I could switch. Okay, so here's my my uh, Behringer 802 mixer, my VAMP, it goes uh, my mic goes into the mixer from the mixer's main output to the VAMP. Oh, and then from the VAMP main output over to the um, my Lenovo i5. Now, when I used it the other day, I did unplug it and plug it into the S Rock, you know, manually like that. But I do have you do have a control room output, and uh, <clears throat> I tried it out, and it was a little more noisy. It didn't sound as good, and I think the reason it well, I tried it out. It would be fine. If all you were doing, looking at it, looked like a knob was turned a little different. Um, so if you were just recording straight off the mixer, it should, it would should actually that's what the control room is. One of the things it's for, you know, is so you could record off of it, and it would be fine. It would be clean, I'm sure. But in order to get my compression and everything that's in, you know, I'm using this for vocal effects, you know. So in order to get all that, I use the earphone output, which is kind of noisy. You can t really tell the difference between the main output and the earphone output on this VM uh, effects unit here. It's really a guitar effects, but it does have some vocal effects in it as well. I even tell you how to use them in the manual. Uh, so anyway, I go out of the um, earphone output into the tape input on the board, and then you can punch uh, tape to control room, and then you can bring this up. And that's you can get that, and I tried it because I thought, well, I can have them both hooked up at the same time. And but it it just didn't sound good at all. It, it just didn't sound. It had noise, a lot of noise in it, and so I don't want to use it that way. <clears throat> and it's I'm sure it's being introduced by the uh, lousy earphone output. I mean, do you really want to listen? It's bad enough you don't want to listen to it. You know, I would not want to. Now, if you were playing a guitar, it might not bother you. You know, I mean, well, <laughs> guitar players are all deaf anyway, so. <laughs> they, they, they're deaf by the time they learn how to play, you know, with all that noise. But, um, and my ears are sensitive to sound, and I get noise fatigue because I mix sound for metal bands for, and, and punk bands and rock bands for uh, about 12 years. So. <laughs> so we all, so they're deaf, and my ears can't stand noise. I, I guess I quit just in time before I went deaf. It's crazy. Those guys, man, you know, they they'd have those Marshall amps or whatever they had uh, cranked up till it is hurting my ears to stand near them, you know, within 10 feet of them. And they're like, 
it's not allowed to me. <laughs> and they, but they're always saying, huh, anytime you try to talk to them, even when they're not playing. <laughs> so, good times. <laughs> All right, so um, back to work or whatever it is we're fixing to do here. Um, okay. Um, yeah, everything looks good on the resources here. Okay, so now on this machine, what do I have? I think I have KRFB. Yeah, I didn't ever bother to put it up on the... That's right, I have KRFB on this machine, but I don't have the Tiger VNC viewer, which does work better. Uh, you can, I mean, this one, there's my favorite viewer is this one. It, I really like that one, and I, I'll open it. I'm going to be opening it up over there, so um, <clears throat> I'll wait. <clears throat> but um, this one, actually, you can use it for quite a long time, with, and, and it still work okay, so that's why I've been using it. But I don't have this one installed on the AS Rock, and there's no point. I just thought, well, there's no point in installing it when I'm trying to reformat these things. So system tools, KRFB, yeah, all these apps that I, you know, add, that's why, I, again, that's why I make my install scripts to get all these app, good old apps on there. Enable desktop sharing, and then I'll have to put the password in. Um, I have to put my, my enable unattended access in there. Okay, 0 0.192. I'll just leave that up where I can see it if I need to see it again. Okay, so am I ready? Yes. Okay. This one, I'm trying to think. I guess it doesn't really matter how I have it set. Uh, I'm going to put it on cam stream that way. No matter which machine I'm on, you'll see it, even though it'll be not such a great picture. So, yeah, now I can switch. Getting ready to, you know, do switch to the backup stream. Oh, wait, do I need to do what I just did on this one? I was thinking I do. Yeah, if it's going to work, wait. Yeah, I'm going to do that because then it will be backed up. It'll be backed up this way whenever uh, when it gets backed up. So let's go back to the desktop. Oh, can I do that in here? Well, um, it'd be better if I wasn't streaming when I did that. I'll do it after I turn off this stream because this this one is really prone to suddenly using up all its uh, resources. Oh, I better check that other one. Um, it's, it's really prone to using up all its resources when you uh, change the settings with it running, with it recording. Well, period, recording or not, and then you'll have to close it and open it back up and it'll be fine again. Right, so this one, um, leave that like that, <clears throat> and I'll need to get into Tiger Viewer again. And, uh, okay, back into here. You can use the keyboard to do that, can't you? I want to look and see. Oh, the resources. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. Right. It's not running yet, though. Okay. So, yeah. I, see, I had forgotten an important detail. I didn't start the streaming yet. <clears throat> okay. So, it's on the backup one, right? Whoops. Backup stream. Yeah, see, that that's really going to help my organization there, <clears throat> I think. Desktop screencast is what I'm going to want. Right? Yeah, for now I will. Okay, now I hit start streaming. And it will automatically start recording. I'll go ahead and look at the... Uh, <coughs> it should be recording me a file. Yep, there it is. Oh, that's in the same. I was like, what? It's in the same folder. I thought it was in the backup drive for a minute. I'll just I'll just go into downloads just to have something different there. Okay. Now, yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not. I would kind of expect it to. Oh, I'm on remote desktop. Yeah, so that's pretty good for remote desktop. 
it's switching, you know, pretty good and responding pretty good now because I closed it and it hasn't been running very long, you know, <clears throat> closed it and opened it back up. <coughs> okay. So now I want to go in. Uh, now what I'll do is go over to that machine, log into this one, and I will stop this one, and then I'll be able to... Uh, um, you know, edit the, see, you can't, oh, you can't edit while it's recording. You can't edit the profile name or do anything to the profile anyway. There, it won't allow you. The scenes, you can go in there and see, I could, I'm going to get into that too. I will start setting me, I realize now, well, I can set me up different scenes. See, like, it gets hard. I've got so many things in this one, it gets hard to navigate it. And, and so I can, you know, like, make different sets of scenes, um, for different okay types of you know what I'm trying to do, I think that could work out well. But uh, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm going to switch to the cam like I did a while ago, and uh, put it over there just so I can get a look at that 0 0.192. Okay. Now I'll switch with my KVM switch if I can hit it <clears throat> over to the uh, AS Rock. Okay, now I'm gonna. Here's the other one. Oh, that's KRFB. Where's the other viewer? Oh, I had it. Oh, I never did put it up there. That's right. Let's see. Yeah, remote desktop viewer. I don't have Tiger anything, right? Yeah. I don't have anything that I don't even have anything that comes up when you say VNC, but even though it is a DNC app, it doesn't have it in its keywords or its title or anything. So this one is called the one that I was saying, talking about. Vinegary, not Vino, Vinegary. Yeah. <clears throat> I have it on my notes. Wrong. I don't think I'm gonna have room to write it in them. I, I've got it kind of crammed in with some of my other notes. Golly, I'm writing the name of that down next to its keyboard shortcut. That's what I'm trying to do. Guess I should do it somewhere else. Kind of did it. Okay, let's quit wasting time. <clears throat> um, but that's it. Uh, the one that I really like that has lots of nice features and everything. And it used to work wonderfully. I'd, I constantly forget I was on. Uh, yeah, and let's see, where did I, I was trying to say, where did I see that shortcut and make sure I knew what it was? You may have to be running to see it. Now let's hit connect. Anyway, VNC, you want to make sure you're doing the right kind of net connection because that you're trying to do because there's other several different kinds. And that is the way I asked from yesterday, and that's you know, that you'd think that would be the go, but that actually finds stuff. You know, it'll it'll do a search and tell you what <clears throat> what's showing up. You know, to it that it can find. But you don't do it that way. You put the number in there, the IP, and then go down to the bottom right and connect. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now, I think I'll just minimize that and see, it says, since I have it set up to allow it, this just tells you that it's connected. I just noticed it has a, I think it uses a random port each time or something. I mean, it has to use 5900 to connect, but I don't know. I didn't think it could do that. I thought it had to always use 5900, but that looks like it's using a random port, which is can be good. Actually, I may have this one, this server set up that way. I don't know. Uh, really don't. So anyway, uh, if you want to, one thing you can do, which I always do, make it fit the screen, and then if you don't want to go uh, full screen, then you can still see the whole screen. And this one goes full screen. And where did I, f okay, view, okay, there it is, full screen F11, right there. So yeah, F11. So if I hit F11, 
then I'm full screen. And and uh, I was thinking, this I don't think this is, you know, maybe because of oh Tiger VNC, I'm connected to a Tiger VNC server off of KRFV, not Vino like I always used to. So I guess the server is the one that sends out the menus because there's no menu up here at the top, and you can't get out of it in the in the GUI. I was stuck. I had to close my connection to get out yesterday. So that's what it is. That's why the mystery, if I can remember that, that's the mystery solved. Because I remember when I was on Debane out in the garage connected, and here I was a viewer. You couldn't put this viewer on it. There was a different one. Or maybe you could, but anyway, there might have been this one. There, uh, it might have been the difference in which server, VN, uh, VNC server I was using. Anyway, the viewer out there in the garage, I had to remember that shortcut and write it down or else I was stuck. So anyway, and sometimes it really was a pain because I'm out in the garage and, uh, and that's the whole point. You don't want to have to come in here, you know, and all that stuff. So this one, yeah, it's streaming and no no error messages on my stream, uh, my preview over there. So I can get over here on this. Now I can um, go over here. Let's. Uh, We'll go ahead and start the lucky backup first, and then I'll switch streams. That way, if I have any problems, so if I have any problems and I lose, you lose me, then uh, you know this is that's what's going on. So, uh, so but anyway, I think I'll show the uh, go ahead and show the getting going on the lucky backup. Yeah, see now this this is uh, yeah see this one's already beginning to have some slow refresh. Because that, that's the viewer that I'm using. Um, oh, yeah, i got to use root. I think I remember it this time. Sometimes I remember it, sometimes I don't. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I use Lucky Backup as super, as super user, so you got to have the root password. That's the only way that it'll get everything that you want. Uh, in Fedora 23, I've said that yesterday, I think in some of the newer versions you don't have to do that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it depends on what you want. I mean, but I'm not backing up anything outside of my my, my own home, you know, home dawn, so I'm um, not quite sure. And you don't need super user privilege, privileges to write to my backup drive, my USB backup drive. That's what I'm writing to. So these two profiles with the check mark are going to be run. And so I'll get them started. <coughs> and... Uh, yeah, that KRFB is down there in the same. I ended up opening them up in the same desktop, but that's fine. <coughs> okay. Um, before I go off and do the, now I'm getting ready to do my switch to the get to the backup stream. <coughs> well, that's going on, and uh, so yeah, if I if I get lost here, oh well, I didn't remember that I was still on. Uh, Oh, this one. What? Okay, so I haven't switched yet. Oh, I guess I wasn't paying enough attention to realize that was the camera. I was looking at my preview and everything looked wonderful. <laughs> so, sorry, I forgot. I mean, here I am I'm doing all this remote desktop stuff, but I'm on camera instead of... Uh, so, I should have been on... Uh, what do I want to be on? Okay, that one's on remote as on desktop. I remember that. Now this one can be on. I should have switched to desktop the minute I got back on this machine, so that I could show a good view of the Lucky Backup. When I was before I started opening, you know, opening up Lucky Backup, I should have switched. Now, um, well, actually, it's fine. Uh, if I leave it like this and then go over here and stop it, it'll just look the same. It'll be, there might be a little, little bit of, uh, like I notice if I'm talking while I do it, there might be a, a miss of the, uh, yeah, and the refresh is not very good, so I need to hurry up and go ahead and do it, I guess, so that I can get off of the remote. Let's see. No, I won't be able to get off of the remote desktop, will I? Oh, I didn't stop my stream. I better hurry and stop it or else my video will still be. I don't think it's got to videos yet. I may have to run it again to make sure I get it backed up properly now. I, I started it before I should have started it. going to stop the stream right now.
And we'll be now. And we'll be. Uh, we'll we'll be. Um, switching over to our backup stream is what should happen, and it'll be still be a desktop video because. Uh, as soon as it gets stopped good, I'm looking at my preview and I see that I'm over on my, uh, you know, my, my OBS screen. And, okay, yeah, so I am on the, uh, I have to kind of click around. I got to figure out what, what machine I'm on. What am I doing? You know, got me all. Yeah, I'm on the desktop. So anytime now I should see in my preview that, uh, um, Yeah, there we go. So I should be running off of my backup stream now. Okay. And the only thing I could actually do to fix my problem with uh, uh, you know, my robot desktop not showing up too good is uh, using that, you know, installing and using that other uh, have to pay attention to what machine I'm on. Okay. Okay, now here's my remote desktop connection. Okay. There we go. Now, this one is, um, yeah, I need to do the, uh, let's see. If I switch, I don't think it really matters what I'm on. Yeah, because I'm not streaming from this one. Right. I'm not streaming from this one, so I can put it wherever I want, which that's probably good to just have my uh, very first screen. That way it won't be, you know, making the machine work hard or anything. And, uh, yeah, I see it over there. Okay. And as long as my audio is still working, it should I'm be. I'm streaming from this one, so. I yeah, okay. So while my backup is doing its thing, Over there, yeah. oh, it's done, okay. I'm afraid I might have missed getting um, all of that video. I guess I can find out. I started to say I'll just run it again, but before I do that, um, <clears throat> I'm kind of getting hung up because my remote desktop's not working so great. I can disconnect and reconnect. Sometimes that helps. I guess I better try that. And uh, close. It. sometimes I just close the app and then reconnect. I could install that other one. Yeah, You so whatever I do on this machine is what you'll see. Okay, right. But I, what I was going to do is go ahead and set up my profiles the way I wanted them. Be a, just doing it from my own desktop. Oh, that's right. I wanted to do that before I ran that backup. So really, I want to run that backup again um, after I do that. Okay. So um, I'll go ahead and try connecting again. If it oh, that's K or F B. Darn it. Let's see. You know, I need to close that K or F B. Wait a minute. Make sure I don't close it on the wrong machine. Yeah, this is not, I'm not on remote desktop, so I don't need KRFB running the server on here. Right. So maybe that'll help. That could have been, uh, you know, using too much network traffic for nothing. I want the, uh, I got to go over here and get, where is that? Remote desktop viewer. I keep, um, there. I put that up there. They have the same icon. Great. Well, I'm just going to leave it right there. For, <laughs> it's a temporary thing anyway. If I put them next to each other, I'll never know which one is which. Okay. Now maybe if, maybe I won't have so much trouble. Maybe I won't have so much trouble, you know, working over here. Um, F11. Okay. Don't want to run Lucky back up again just yet. Okay, now I'm going to get in here, and now I can rename my profiles and stuff. Okay, now this one right here will be my main stream. 
John OBS Studio Profile Settings, and then I named that one Lenovo i5. Uh, the day that I, 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 what I did is I did a duplicate of it. And uh, <clears throat> I think I'll do a duplicate of this one and just turn it into the backup because I don't know if that other one might be different. It might not have the exact same thing in it as this one does. But this is the one I've been using. And uh, see, right now OBS is not doing anything out of the ordinary or anything. And uh, my refresh rate's not too good still. Uh, if I can do this. Look at my settings. Yeah, my stream, of course, is primary. So cancel. And yeah, it's not, I think it'll be fine. Of course, I'm just going to close it. And I think the next thing I'm going to be doing is rebooting the machine anyway. Uh, but I want these settings to end up being backed up. Actually, I can manually make another backup of this. I'll have it to import you know yeah i need to do that i have to back it up to my sd card well i can back it to this my main backup drive and then to my okay so i want to rename this as primary done Yeah, do not remote desktop makes everything a bit of a pain when it doesn't work good. Let's see, primary. Primary, OBS. I don't really need studio in there. Well, it's getting hard to edit. Let's see, OBS profile. have to wait for it. I accidentally deleted the S, OBS, profile, yeah, here we go, Dawn OBS profile, I think it's going to work better if I use the mouse, maybe, I don't know where I'm at, it, it, uh, it's not responding well enough for me to know where I'm at, well, no OI5, there we go, can't see it. going to say okay because I'm pretty sure I got it. Sometimes if you just make this, yeah, Dawn Primary OBS Profile or Novo i5. And instead of trying to, I'm not going to copy cancel. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate and I'll name it as backup, and then I'll actually make it backup. Yeah, now. Is that gonna work? I think I might have typed that wrong. But I'm not sure, since it's not refreshing right. This is getting really aggravating. I should have done backup OBS profile in Novo i5. And that one there I'll leave alone because that could be a little bit different. This one, primary OBS. Okay, it's already on the one I just renamed and everything. Now, there's only one thing I need to do to it that I, can, that I know of. I'll try to think this through. <coughs> is, uh, oh, come on. <coughs> Move the mouse around and it'll make it come up sometimes. But it's, I don't think it's going to work. I guess I should have just installed that uh, Tiger VNC viewer. I think I'm going to have to give up and do that. I ought to get out of that. So. Well, I can't do anything until it shows up. So you know, see, it'll just sit there, and uh, you know. Okay, yeah, desktop screencast. Okay, so I'm going to get over here and, uh, yeah, <clears throat> go ahead and open up um, <clears throat> DNF, DNF Dragora, let's see, it's going to look for the updates, so we'll see what they are, 
there's probably not too many. I mean, probably, let's see. I don't know. I don't want to get into a whole bunch of updates and have it take a long time. They don't look like too many. Um, let's just go ahead and... I didn't type it right. Tiger VNC, let's try it in descriptions because it's not working. Summaries. It's probably Tiger VNC. Sometimes in names actually works better. That didn't. I've said this every time I get in here, I absolutely hate this. Uh, Used to, you've always been able to set to search all, you know, all available information. And uh, it's just not, it's just pain, it's just a, in, 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 incomprehensible pain in the butt to search for apps now in here. This, uh, and this is just, first time I've ever seen anything like this, you know. Uh, it's just DNF Dragora. YAM extender was great. YAM extender DNF was just fine. And once I figured out how to use it, it was different. Um, yeah, I don't think you can install even one of those on. Well, yeah, I don't know if you can install YAM extender DNF. I'm going to have to look into that. But once I get to building up these systems, now it's taking them forever to search. <clears throat> Oh, it's still in two update. That's why. That's the other thing. <laughs> you didn't used to. You didn't used to, If you just started searching for apps, it would automatically know that. You know. Uh, well, for one thing, it says all right there, and that's as far as I kind of my eye kind of goes. You know, I don't really look at the next tab. It's just laid out weird for me. It's. Uh, and, and, you know, you, it's kind of, it really is good when you first open it up that it starts with updates. But um, anyway, the way the uh, Apper, the one, the, the one I used for many years, uh, all these years until the last two couple of years, uh, it would uh, automatically, even if it was showing you updates, it would just show them in red, you know. And then you could just click select all and then update them if you want or not. And... Uh, it didn't ha make you go into these drop-down lists, you know. It would just always, you could say, always searching all, and that's what I always have done. Anytime I'm searching, I'm searching all. Uh, but now, just because it says all there, that doesn't mean you're doing all here. Now I'm doing all. So, uh, now maybe it'll do it. Well, first it has to refresh. I mean, it's slower than Christmas. I thought Yum was a slow app to use. Um, or I guess it was Apper. One of them was really slow. Apper or, or Yum Extender. I think Yum Extender was... No, I can't remember. Anyway, you see now uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get a, a jill, kajillion of results because uh, I just put in Tiger. But if it's a name and you put Tiger Space VNC, I'm afraid I won't come up with anything. It's still working. I can't do anything else unless I want to try to interrupt it. And actually, the more you, if you try to interrupt it, it's liable to hang up. I've had to do that. <clears throat> this is why I didn't want to do this. <laughs> right here is why I didn't want to go off and do this. And especially since I'm just flat. It's a foreign, it's foreign soil for me. It's a foreign program for me. It just doesn't work anything like what, you know, any of the other programs I've used for all these years. Uh, and I don't like the way it works. I, I really, I mean, I don't generally just gripe and gripe about programs where I didn't used to, but I absolutely hate the way this thing works. So I don't know. I imagine that uh, here's Tiger. I would imagine a lot of people don't like this, you know, if they were happy with the way the other ones worked, like me, and, uh, and uh, maybe they'll get some, you know, after some feedback and forum, forum back and forth, maybe they'll change it up some. I don't know. We'll see. 
Okay, Tiger VNC. Yeah, see, I don't need the actual full blown server is not installed. It's just a. Uh, where is it? Where is it mentioned in there? See, I have KRFB on here, and I've been using it. It it, it installs a mini version of the Tiger VNC server. I'm not seeing it. I'm just I'm seeing everything that starts with Tiger. See, it's not even in displayed, uh, not showing. Remote display system. I want the viewer. Their server applet. Well, huh? The only thing that's there is the Tiger VNC license. Um, what, why, why is it not showing up? I don't know. I'm not trying to fix. It's. I'm not going to try to fix anything that's not broke. But there's something really odd there. Uh, viewer. Hit and enter won't work. That's the other thing I absolutely hate. And see, and <clears throat> sometimes these searches can take a really long time, like that. Um, and it, it, yeah, if I knew the commands, it'd be so fast to uh, do it in the in the terminal. But I don't know what the command is. I don't know what the exact file name is. See how how different each one of them are. It might be you know it might be Tiger dash VNC dash viewer it could be all kinds of different things you know and uh, I guess they're making the, they're making the GUI so bad that they're going to make you have to learn to work in the command line I guess that's their game right there <coughs> now my big problem is well there's two big problems I have with working the command line my memory I can't remember commands and my uh, and I don't I make so many mistakes typing that even if I know the right thing, I'm still not, I think I'm typing it right, but I'm not. And I don't even see my eyes swap letters and numbers and do all kinds of crazy things. So I don't even see that I'm doing it wrong. So I, I get even more aggravated than I'm getting with this. Try descriptions. Tiger VNC viewer. That's all I want. Tiger VNC viewer. I'm looking for the uh, the other app that I like now because I'm so disgusted. Yep, I'm gonna hit enter every time because that's how I've done it every, all day, every day for all these years, and it's not gonna work. VNC viewer. Okay, let's see. Now here should be uh, in descriptions. There should be a whole bunch up there. See some tiger. Server applet. I thought that was installed and that's what my server was. It was running with KRFB. That's what got me going, what? Icons. GTK VNC. I wonder if they've dropped it in uh, Fedora 27. Well, I had it installed in Fedora 26. I mean, it's not, not that it couldn't happen. I just think that I can't find it, is what I think. Okay, Tiger VNC, what? Well, icons for fire, Tiger VNC viewer. Well, why can't I find Tiger VNC? Java. Tiger VNC. Applet for Tiger VNC server. Maybe if I say Tiger viewer. Okay, let's do that. Tiger VNC because it every time it's mentioned, it says Tiger VNC. So maybe uh, display system server. There's a license minimal. There it is. Okay, I was right. Tiger uh, in, a minimal installation of Tiger VNC server. That's what v, uh, KRFB installs. So I don't want to go and install the server again. That's why I'm being really careful about only getting the viewer. 
<coughs> there. That's no, that's just icons for Tiger C VNC viewer. Tiger VNC remote display system. Allows you to view computing desktop environment. Okay, they're calling it something stupid instead of just calling it Tiger VNC viewer. Tiger VNC remote display system. Oh, I'm important. I'm smart. Everybody else in the world calls it the, the a VNC viewer. That's why I can't find it. It's not my fault. <laughs> I'm getting so aggravated lately. Ever since I got it, this, I guess I, I keep thinking, okay, I'm, I'm not going to be in a bad mood today. I'm not, but then things aggravate me easily, I guess, because uh, which one do I want? x86-64, x86-64, 4 or 10, well, I guess. Release, okay, version 1.8.0, but release, I guess I want 10. I want the newest one, you know. Okay, so that's the other thing is figuring out which version. See, and all the other ones you could just say, only send me the ones that's uh, compatible with my system, you know, and then you don't have to sift through it. So I'm going to hit apply. Okay, now what am I going to get? Tiger VNC and the icons and what else? That's all, just those things. 853 kilobytes. I knew it would be really small. <clears throat> I just knew it was going to probably be hard to find. I typed it wrong. <clears throat> okay. Those updates, I may go ahead and do them. I thought I'd wait and install this first in case it had an update. That's what I was thinking. So uh, I'm gonna let them do that, do their thing in the background, you know. And uh, yes, yeah, so this machine should, even though it, see now it's not acting funny. So I don't know. The mouse is not acting funny whatsoever. Now it's doing great. Is it done? Yeah, it's done. Okay, now I got to go back to updates. Okay, it'll do that whole search for updates. Well, it didn't have to take so long. Check all. I don't know if I got a real check then. I think it just re re represented what was already there. I don't think there's any kernel updates this time, just general program stuff. Eighty what was it? Eighty three megabytes? I didn't really pay attention. What? Error. Well, I won't worry about it now. I'm going, man, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's going to do what it can or what. Usually when I have errors, I, no, it stopped it. Okay, well, I won't worry about those updates right now. Okay, now. Is that going to be in the system tools like the other one? I think it's not. It's probably going to. Sometimes when you install an app, it doesn't show up until sometimes after a reboot. Okay, but it did. So this one doesn't work so well, so I'm going to remove it, especially since it has the same icon as the uh, yeah, 192. What was the? There's one thing. I don't remember the IP, but this one has it in there for me. So I do need it again. Not KRFB. I want. Oh, it was under in it. Remote. Yeah. I just want that. 192. Okay. Cancel. Close. Yeah, this one you got to type it in there. I mean, it's not. Well, you can go around and around and around trying to get things done sometimes. Okay. So, there we go. Now, here's where I left off, and hopefully it won't be... Uh, you know, start getting all sluggish on me and everything. As you can see, it looks so much bigger because it's a lot lower resolution. It kind of defaults to a lot lower resolution, which probably is one of the main reasons it refreshes better. Okay, now I forgot what it was I was trying to do. I think this is my backup profile. Yeah, that was my backup profile. 
So it's still not refreshing wonderfully, but I think I can do it now. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'm worried that it's, when this starts happening, it makes me worried about my stream uh, being, it end up being bad. At least I am recording a backup video, but boy, that's a pain to try to, to have to go upload that. Especially in this, you know, with it's all split up between different machines, it would be two, it could be in a, two or three different videos, you know. Okay, I don't want it to be the primary, I want it to be the backup, that's the way I want that. Okay. And, oh, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Now this one, Don Backup OBS Profile Lenovo i5. Don Primary OBS Profile Lenovo i5. Okay, let me look in there. I don't think, I just remembered do I need to look at any other settings. It should all be the same because I just, just now made a copy of it. So everything should be just fine. Yeah, it looks... The, the, the general the general things I've had to get errors on lately, it all looks the same. Okay, I mean, yeah, it all, I can remember that much of it. Okay, so what I want to do, though, is change it to primary because that's probably what I'm going to be doing. Well, actually, I may not. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be, well, I'll, this is what I want to be my primary. Now I'm going to exit. Let's see. Yeah, it's not causing it to act up so far, but that doesn't mean it won't do it here in a little bit. So I'm going to close the OBS on that machine because I'm not, uh, <clears throat> you know, not using it right now. I was just trying to get that that done, and I got hung up in my rem my remote desktop not working right. Okay, now hopefully it'll work good enough. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start my lucky backup again and let it run and if I can it's not going to overtax the machine since it's not recording a video I may be able to get my little um, SD card I also want it on my SD card for my live uh, system to be able to use it in my live systems trying to feel for that USB slot. Cuz you can't see it. <clears throat> oh, I was I was thinking I have to be at the mic and I just now realized the mic's still up here where it normally is. I'm not using the mic. I'm using the Wi-Fi. And when I'm doing this, it might be easier on me to uh, just not use the, you know, stop using the SM58 at some point there. It's not making any difference on the uh, refresh of my of my uh, remote desktop. That's beginning to aggravate me. Let's see. It's actually just as it may actually be worse than it was with the other one. I'm going to close it again. You really just can't keep on. You can't just hope it keeps working and just keep going. Let's see now. I don't have... I don't still have some double servers running or anything, do I? Let's see. No VNC showing up at all. Nothing under remote. Let's see. Not Tiger. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what was the other one called? The Viewer. Okay. Vinegary. Yeah, vinegary. I have it scribbled really badly. Nothing V. Yeah. Okay, so. <clears throat> I don't know, sometimes it just decides it doesn't want to work good under the, what seems to be the same conditions, you know. And I keep wanting to click on that, but I remembered I already tried it and it didn't work, so. Uh, I'll try it again with the same one, because it generally does work better.
Okay. That's doing its thing. Well, it's already finished. I can't believe it finishes so fast. Let's make sure it looks like it's doing everything. I guess there's just nothing really to back up. Well, okay, now we'll go, the, the number one, uh, it's been run several times. Okay, yeah, that's my regular profile. It's been run several times. Uh, that's twice. Now, I shouldn't have any uh, problem with, um, you know, my video not being backed up. This video here should be the right size. So if I go over here, it's my backup drive and uh, go into OBS Studio videos, <clears throat> kind of watching my stream. Yeah, okay, I see, I see on my stream what I'm talking about now. So that's good. And, and I have audio. So if I hit uh, sync, just one way, whoo, right to left only. Left to right would be three times more how much space is left on that drive even. Okay, nothing to do, so it's worked. I want to make sure that you know, since I actually think the first backup was while it was being written, that it did actually overwrite that file. Yeah, 874 megabyte, 874 megabyte. It didn't. Uh, once in a while, I've seen like a temp file left in there, and I just, you know, in the, just when I see those, I delete them because you can figure out that was uh, what it, what it did. You know, what co uh, don't delete yet, uh, copy. Um, it's just a wasted file. It's not going to be. I mean, well, you can still play them, and you can see. Uh, you, uh, you can just open them up in BNC, they'll still play. So, um, and the other thing is, I want to make sure backup. Where's that little backup folder? Oh, it's in Leno the Nolova. I have a, just a kind of a general backup folder. My, uh, I just won't even bother to delete that. I'm fixing to reformat that. There it is, backup files. And what I wanted to do was uh, go to the home directory and go to config OBS. There it is right there. I have a folder for OBS Studio backups now. I guess I better rename that one. 06 1918. Okay. 06 1918. I better make a rename that one 04 28 17. be a big difference in you know from of, of what they would be like so what would be in them I've changed them up quite a bit now I'll go ahead and just put a date on that one like I did these others um, 0626 18 now um, well, I can just copy that one over to my little, uh, got an extra dash in there. 06-26-18. Yeah, see, that's a dot .config folder. I didn't know where this stuff was and until recently I had to find it several times. And, I, and they, this whole folder is already being ma automatically backed up to... Uh, you know my backup drive, but I want to I, I want to do it again to make sure I can find it in case I forget. That's really it. Oh, that's the wrong drive. I want to go to my little SD card and uh, let's see where where did I put the oh I did it like that OBS. I just put it right on. Yeah, because I didn't have like an OBS folder. Okay. So copy. I'm getting kind of too many of those in there. I don't think I really need all those. 062818. But I do think I'll leave. I don't need that one all the way back from 2017. Do I? Let's see. 
Yeah, that's that's the same one I already have. So delete, delete all. 06, 25, 18, 06, 09, 18. If I have too many, I'm liable to get mixed up and get in there and use the wrong one. So I'm going to say those last two. That way, if there's something wrong with this one, it doesn't work. I'll still have one to work with. Yeah. Okay. So now we're getting there. Yeah, see, this whole thing is my home directory and all the, you know, all the things that I think are important there. Shouldn't really have documents in there. Just has a few. I think uh, I think what happens is I started running it and then what? Wait a minute. I know it's going to be backing up all that stuff and I don't want it. And then I stopped it and then just did it again or something. I don't know what I did, but there's some of the basic folders in there that I don't want in. But I didn't delete them because I I thought I better go through them and make sure they're in my other folders. But I didn't want to take time to do it. I think that's what happened. So documents, um, like I said, if I go into documents here, the basic basic documents folder, and go over here, and I go to, say, bookmarks, there should be nothing. Let's see. And if I organize that by newest on top, now, there shouldn't be anything to do. That's one of the last things I changed. Okay, so my backups should be good. I, it's really <laughs> makes me nervous to uh, completely reformat a system. So I keep, you know, I keep, and the thing is, I, you know, I've made the mistakes. I've lost data before and from different mistakes you know and something well, most i ever lost was i had a 160 gigabyte hard drive that was a backup drive and i was you plugging it in with a usb adapter into a machine and i uh had it plugged in i, I plugged in i was gonna i was gonna plug in the power to it with a molex connector and that's what you did that's how you, you know did it was the ide drive and uh I tried to do it without really, I was just reaching down there feeling of it doing it. And I thought I had it right, but I didn't. And I pushed extra hard. He didn't want to go in. I just thought, oh, I just don't want to go in because some of those molexes are tighter, you know. And um, well, it was backwards in it, so it directly shorted the pins and I got some magic smoke. So uh, everything on it. I still have the hard drive and I still hope to find another hard drive like it with a good circuit board that I can even just put in there temporarily just to get the data off of it. But uh, I haven't, uh, I keep looking at my old hard drives. So every time one breaks or something, I look at it. Oh, is that one, that one work? So far I don't have any that looks just like it. And I think maybe you could put like, probably more likely to put a newer one than an older one in there maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Anyway, if, if it was a Seagate drive of the same basic type, uh, it would probably work, I think. But uh, I haven't ever found one to try it with. That's a sidetrack. Okay, so um, now let's see. I, I I think you see if I hadn't had so many uh, troubles, I would have been. A, I, I'm getting to where I need a break, and I'm thinking, okay, now do I move on? Do I reboot? You know, and uh, and. Uh, start installing, but I think I'm going to have to take a break before I can do that. So it's probably, well, actually, since I've had so much trouble with my remote desktop, it's probably the thing to do because I have no idea if I might be having trouble with my stream. Uh, although it's it's better now. Notice that? Which machine am I even on? Uh, okay, yeah. Well, okay, now I see. Okay, so I'm on the, <laughs> yeah. I'm on remote desktop. That's what I was starting to forget okay what am I on so um, yeah here's my machine I'm streaming from now the AS rock and uh, I mean it looks fine every time I click on the audio everything seems fine but uh, 
you know, not, not actually watching it. But see, that's not refreshing good, so already. So, um, see, I don't have anything running still anymore in this except the uh, system monitor and the, uh, the, the Fedora 23, the one that's fixing to go bye-bye. I did make me a backup list of all the apps and again it's the other day. I haven't installed anything since then. So uh, go over there to the oh it's not switching too good. Well it looks like I'm gonna have to if I want to do anything else from that thing I'm gonna have to close it and open it back up again. So but yeah you gotta make sure you get out of full screen so that you're not just closing that app. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the, my, my viewer is not working so good. Um, I'm going to use that other viewer again one more time, see if it does any better for just a minute or two while I look it over. I mean, I can shut it down. I can move over there to it to shut it down. I don't have to do it remotely if I can't. Uh, what I was thinking I was going to go on and reboot and keep working on the... got to stop talking just so I can remember where, what it is I'm trying to do. There we go. I've changed viewers. Now, see if it'll be any different or any better or any worse. Yeah, right at the first there, you're fine. Well, no, you're not. I think that, um, look at that. Yeah, I think that I'm not even going to try to do any more in remote desktop right now. And I think that's a sign that I had better... Um, <coughs> I think what I better do is uh, just... I mean, I can just, you know, there's no need to absolutely show shutting that machine down on the video. I mean, kind of think through my plan. Well, what I'm going to do is shut all the machines down or reboot all the machines that I'm going to be using and uh, and most of all I'm going to reboot my my modem and my router and my phones because they've been running a good while now let's see well this machine has been running for 53 minutes so the other one was already running for I don't know how long before I got on it so uh, you know I don't know my total stream anymore oh wait oh hmm okay this crazy counter on the on the Debane. Uh, for some reason, uh, in Debane, even though I have the newest version of uh, Fedora, I mean, Firefox, it starts at negative one hour, and then it counts back to zero, and then it starts going forward. It's still doing that after all this couple of several months. Anyway, I'm at 29 minutes, so I guess I'm at an hour and 29 minutes. Okay. So anyway, I'll reboot everything to be safe because I don't want my stream to be ruined, you know, be bad just because whatever's, you know, getting tired with routers or whatever. Sometimes it's the modem, you know, whenever I have, well, I mean, th the modem has nothing to do, of course, with my remote desktop. That would be the routers. Uh, and I'm not doing my remote desktop over <laughs> Wi-Fi. These are all wired machines the only one that has any well this laptop has wi-fi but actually i don't even have the driver installed on it so it's running wired too but everything is so everything is doing wired so the router may just be oh that's another thing uh no i started to say you know i might be going through one of the older routers and they haven't been rebooted in a while but no i'm i'm only on my d-link router because the ip addresses are all you know zero dot 192.0. whatever. Okay, so um, I'm looking over there at my preview and I'm seeing stuff I was doing a while ago. I think maybe the newer version of the uh, OBS Studio may. Um, buffer a whole lot to stop the stream from being bad or something like more than the this one that I've been using on the Lenovo i5 because I saw it doing that a couple other day it got me really worried and confused 
I was like, that's from way behind, like two, a minute or two ago. Yeah, I'm seeing, right now, I'm seeing on my preview where the VNC was just getting really, really bad. And, and you could see well, the refresh was really, really bad. It's not up to me. I'm not, like, you're seeing me right now. I'm not seeing me on my preview, not even close. Uh, so, okay, so, yeah. So what I said, I'm going to just reboot everything. So I won't be able to just continue on and reboot. And now I finally see me at the beginning when I first started talking on the camera. Okay, we're getting really strange. But I've, I saw that happening in the last couple of videos when I was using the ASRock with the newer version of OBS Studio. I think it just automatically uh, buffers a whole lot if it thinks it needs to in order to keep your stream in good health. Because the stream's in good health. There's nothing, no, no warnings or anything. And then when I watch them back, that I don't see anything that looks, no choppy video, audio, or anything. So uh, I think maybe that's what it is. Um, <coughs> that'd be my best guess anyway. Okay, so I'm going <coughs> to, does say drop frames 123, but that's not very many over an hour. <coughs> I just noticed that. But, um, oh, it says drop frames 123.1%. Uh, <coughs> so there's, yeah, it kind of, pay attention to all that stuff down there at the bottom of the screen. It tells you a lot. It even tells you, well, it tells you how long you've been alive, how long you've been recording, which is the same, 50, right now 57 minutes on this machine. Like I said, I, I used two different machines today, so I had to, well, I can tell by my, my preview, uh, my actual YouTube live preview of how long I've been streaming uh, in total. And then it tells me, well, it says it's 11, 12 frames per second, and I've got it set to aim at 30 frames, so it's not doing a lot of frames. Uh, and then kilobytes per second, 2767, and, so, and it kind of goes up and down. And, um, oh, and CPU usage, 23.5%, well, 24.5 now, but it's changing. Okay. So, yeah, I, I don't think a lot, I don't notice that a lot. It's, I've always known all that, that that information was down there. I guess it's the same on the older version. It's all, I didn't know there was so much information down there. It's got me sidetracked. Okay, so I'll reboot. I'm trying to figure, I'm, I'm not, I mean, it's not, I'm trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> not so much trying to explain what I'm going to do, but I'm trying to figure out how am I going to do this because everything's not going to plan. Okay, so I will reboot everything uh, to make sure, you know, everything's in, in good shape. And I need a break. And so I'll be taking that break. And when I come back, I should be able to, um, I didn't get my, well, before I shut the Lenovo i5 down, I will just get on it and look it over, think through it. I, I don't have to be making a video while I do that. It might even be easier to think, to make darn sure am I actually ready to uh, reformat that thing, you know. And I will need to unplug that backup drive, make sure that it's not plugged in. I don't want to have any risk of it getting, you know, getting re reformatted while I'm putting Fedora 28 on the hard drive. And uh, let's see, yeah, that uh, SD card's still in it too from when I was copying that file. But since I, I don't want to just pull it out, I want to unmount it. So I'll do that when I get over there. And then I will... I'll go ahead and just for just for good measure reboot the uh, my temperature in my room's been really good at seventy five point nine with all this stuff running, so that's good. Um, I'll reboot the uh, AS Rock and I'll turn it. And when I do, I won't get. I was going to try that switching back again. You know, uh, making the uh, Lenovo i five the backup and then switching to it and all that stuff. So now what I'll do is. I'll, turn, I'll reboot the uh, AS Rock and then I'll put it in, I'll turn it on as the mainstream, the primary stream. And then um, I'll start out. I can have the camera sh showing me booting up the AS Rock on the live system. And then as soon as I get, um, then I'll, and, I'll, and I'll install OBS Studio. Let's see. I could go ahead and install, well, I don't think I want to install both. 
How was I planning on doing that? I guess that's the only way to do it. Install OBS Studio. I'll just have to use the camera to show that. Um, and then, then once I get OBS Studio up and running, then I'll turn it on as the backup stream, stop that stream, and it'll take over. And I can do my install that way. And then when I'm done, well, I'll go from there. I'll, uh, well, when I want to do my reboot, I'd like to show my reboot and everything. That's my, my goal is to show the whole thing. Boot up, install, reboot. The whole, all seamless. I've never really been able to do that. Um, and, and now that I think, then now that I see that there's a way I can do it, I'm like, oh, I want to do that, you know. Okay, so, um, so I'm gonna go now, and uh, that. But my next thing, is, I think I said that yesterday. Next, my next video is gonna be in <laughs> reformatting that Lenovo i5. Well, my next video today was an hour and a half of uh, getting ready again. So. At least this time I didn't get all overheated and sick. I was flat sick yesterday. I was nauseated for a couple of hours. It got, I got so hot and out of air, nothing to breathe, you know. No. It was too hot to open a window. I mean, sometimes you really just need to open a window and get some oxygen in your room, you know. And maybe that would have helped. It, really, I might should have done that. It, it didn't dawn on me. And then cooler weather, I always do that. Uh, I can really tell a big difference. I'll generally have, even though it'll make my allergies even worse, I will generally have that. If the weather's cool enough, I will have a window open, however much I need, you know. Like if it's cold, it's a little bit. If it's cool, I've got it wide open, you know. So all right, I'm going to go for a while, take a break. Um, 144 at p.m. I'm trying to think. I just now noticed a twinge of hunger, and I thought, well, am I going to have to eat my supper now? If I do, I'll eat my supper before I come back, because um, I have been up since 4.30 this morning, so it's not too far, you know, for sure, by, I mean, it's two, three, four, you know, that'd be, well, I can't remember when I had my, I had my breakfast, my lunch pretty early, because I, I got, I usually do get kind of hungry, I usually get hungry for lunch earlier than I get hungry for supper, you know, like, from between from breakfast to lunch and I don't remember what time it was but that may be what I'm gonna have to do I'm afraid I'll get to I won't get to do it today like each day I think I'm gonna do a certain amount and then I, things go wrong or differently at the least and I don't get to do what I want to do but usually when I eat supper I start getting really sleepy and um, let's see two three four hmm We'll see. I'm counting up, like, if I've been up 12 hours, that's usually about the time I'm going to have to. Sometimes i got to start getting ready for bed. Sometimes that just means I'm going to have to eat supper and wind down. And, you know, I might be up four more hours, but sometimes I'm only up a couple more hours. Okay. You know how I'm feeling. So, um, yeah. I think this one... I, yesterday I forgot to use the music out, you know, and I, but so today I'm remembering it. So I'm going to go. And as far as how long it is for, I'm going to be back. I don't know. I may end up, I'm kind of having a feeling that maybe by the time I get all this done, I'm going to be hungry and need to eat my supper. Uh, and then hopefully I'll come back and reformat that thing. It really doesn't take super long to reformat one, 20, 30 minutes. It's all the other stuff leading up to it that it takes forever, especially for me. Okay, <coughs> uh, see you later. Bye.